on, James, Edward, and the other engines had regrouped with Thomas's brother, Timothy. The Gramrock animatronics were there with Talon. Guys, I saw corpses of dead staff in the backstage room. Someone was trying to set us up so we can get in here. What do you mean, Edward? Someone might have hacked the animatronics that were like us. And they're probably trying to get rid of us so they can replace us. That's why they brought us here? I think so. I hope Thomas is okay. I as well, Freddy. Has anyone seen Thomas? I'm a bit worried about him. Don't worry, Timothy. We'll find him. I think we better get going. I don't want to stay here any longer. I agree, Toby. With that being said, the steam team and Timothy and their friends headed out to escape from the studio. Dan and Dragon followed with them. But as Edward and the Glamrock gang and the steam team were near the exit, the exit was blocked. And there standing in front of the other animatronic engines was the main one itself. The animatronic Thomas was blocking their way. Edward, what's the holdup? We got company, James. Edward, we got company. I can see that, Freddy. That is right, I am the one who started the murder scene. I had enough. I'm not going to give you engines any last words. This is revenge. You started it, you robotic Thomas. You're going to pay for killing innocent people. What you done was murder, and I think you'll be perfect for the scrapyard. Once you're melted down, you will be useful. And you won't harm anyone else. If you're trying to kill us, you got another thing coming. You go down, you imposters of scrap metal. I'll step on you until you're destroyed. If you lay a finger on me, I will rip you to shreds. I agree with you, Roxy, my dear. Ah. Well, if my ancestors saw fit to lock you up and throw away the key, then I do too. You said it, pal. If you are threatening me, then I have words for you. Your time is almost up. For you to die! Thomas! What are you doing? Guys, go! I got this! You heard the tank engine. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's go. We need to leave. Come on! Go, 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 go! Just then, Flying Scotsman and Big One swooped in and grabbed the other animatronics. The battle between animatronic Thomas and the real Thomas seemed to be lasting forever until Thomas finished the animatronic version of himself off by shoving him into a sighting where the animatronic Percy was there and then it self-destruct and it blew up, taking the animatronic Thomas with it. I really think these animatronics who killed innocent people is done. Right, big one? Yeah, Scotty. Let's take these guys to the scrapyard to be cut up for scrap. After I have a time to come to the first big one took the animatronics to the scrapyard and came in to cut up for scrap.
Once Thomas and all his friends returned to Sodor, he was interviewed by the police and stylists from the murder professionals. Thomas was very upset and scared about what happened. He had to be interviewed by stylists of his experience, and he was exhausted from the whole experience. For Andrew, the vice president of programming, was killed by the animatronics. And as for the banana splits animatronics, they were, they were taken apart and sent away for scrap. Thomas explained to Stalitz everything about what had happened at the studio. That's all we need. Those animatronics, including the Thomas animatronic and the pussy animatronic, are going to be scrapped. Because of them being insane. I found out Vanny and Carl did this, and we caught them. Let's hope nothing like this ever happens again, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, me and you both. Ugh, I really need some rest after this. Just then, Edward arrived. He wanted to talk to Thomas. Hi, Edward. Hey, Thomas. I just want to thank you for saving me and your friends' lives. If it wasn't for you, we would have been killed. Bless your soul, Thomas. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, Edward. I'm happy that, that you're okay if it wasn't for me. I'm happy you're here with me. And bless your soul, Edward. You saved Percy's life, too. How's Percy doing? He's doing fine. He just needs a few days of recovering. That's all. Yeah, well, at least we have a lot of police officers and the immediate murder professionals to make sure when a crime is being committed, they're always on the team. Agreed, Thomas. And I'm happy that you're Sodor's number one. Thanks, Edward. And you're Sodor's number two. And you're the best. Thank you, Thomas. And from that day on, Thomas knew if any suspicious activity happened, he would always ask someone for help first, and he hoped that nothing like that would ever happen at an event ever again.